Let's begin this holy Eucharistic sacrifice in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of the Kings In those days the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Arise, go to Seraphath, which belonged to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to feed you. So he arose and went to Seraphath. When he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Bring me a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to bring it, he called to her and said, Bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. And now I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said to her, Do not fear, go and do as you have said, but First make for me a little cake of it and bring it to me. And afterwards make something for yourself and your children. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, The jar of flour shall not be spent, and the jug of oil shall not be empty, until the day that the Lord sends rain upon the earth. And she went and did as Elijah said, and she and he and her household ate for many days. The jar of flour was not spent, neither did the jug of oil become empty, according to the word of the Lord 
that he spoke by Elijah the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Oriel Psalm. Our response is lift up the eyes of your face on us, O Lord. Lift up the eyes of your face on us, O Lord. I called the God of justice gave me answer. From anguish you released me, have mercy and hear me. Children of man, how long will my glory be dishonored? Will you love what is futile and seek what is false? Our response, lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Know that the Lord works wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me whenever I call him. Tremble, do not sin, ponder on your bed and be still. Our response, lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. What can bring us happiness? Many say, lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than abundance of grain and new wine can provide. Our response, lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the scripture wipe away our sins. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, two important points for us to reflect today. Number one, this gospel passage is very short, but there is much in this little parable to tell us. The main trust is distinctiveness. Salt is distinctively different from the thing upon which it is put. By nature and purpose, it is different. So should be every believer in Christ. So by our baptism, we are a new creation, born of God. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and also 1 Peter 1, 23. By purpose, we are to penetrate and change the very taste of the earth. And that is what that we are called for. And point two. We see God is light. And first letter of John chapter 1 verse 5. 
and it's again Jesus says I am the light of the world and again in John 8 12 says and also 9 5 Jesus says you are the light of the world you are the light of the world is all indicating each of us so something very different and unique and what a great compliment that Jesus gives to each of us his disciples Jesus says we are called to expose darkness and influence those living in darkness and bringing them back to the benefit of the light and that is what every believer every follower every disciple should be engaged in are we doing so let's continue doing and getting engaged in the work of the lord following the teachings of the lord Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of this name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God.
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will share the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God and God in him. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Praise the trying God, His majesty indeed fills the earth.